Now today we are going to discuss about business service to banking. In this chapter, we are going to discuss the types of bank account. How many types of bank accounts are there? You have savings account. Your parents, your mother must be keeping a savings account. Whatever money extra we have, we are going to put into the bank account. Two benefits you get. One, you will get rate of interest. Second is safety. So savings account is a regular account which you have to maintain and you can keep your money safe as well as you are going to get interest on it. Normally, all the service class people, they maintain their savings account. Second, the current account. The current account is an account which is maintained by the businessman, those having more number of transactions a day, number of time withdrawal, number of time they have the deposit into the bank account. Because they are taking more service of a bank, no rate of interest is given at the current account. Businessmen maintain current account, laymen maintain, service class people maintain savings account. Here there is a restriction of withdrawal and deposit while here there is no restriction. Next is recurring account. The recurring means those who are the daily wages or those who are earning on the daily basis. So they deposit a particular amount of money either daily or a monthly and they try to keep the balance in their recurring account. So when the recurring account mature, the lump sum amount they will get along with the interest. So this is the savings habit development account. It cultivates the habit of savings. Next is the fixed deposit account. The old people are there, the retired people are there, the housewife are there. If they have any extra money, they are going to keep that money for a fixed period of time and deposit into the bank. Here the maximum rate of interest is given, recurring little less, current no interest, saving minor. Like this, the different type of customers are to be attracted by bank by giving them various options. Now let us see the services provided by bank. The various service, bank does so many work, buying and selling of money along with that, so many things also bank does. Number one, to issue the draft. If you want to send a money somewhere with a full security, you are going to visit a bank and ask that on this particular name, if ever to that person, you draw a draft. When one bank is writing a draft, addressing another bank to make the payment, that is what called to be your issue of a draft. We are not writing, bank is writing the draft. Number next, pay order. It is called very much similar to the draft. Bankers check. The bank is ordering an another bank to make the payment. That is called that pay order. So these are very much similar. Next is that is the real time gross statement, RTGS. Nowadays you have heard a lot about RTGS and NEFT. Because most of the payments are done through the e-payment. We are now hardly writing checks and hardly we are receiving any uh, dividend form checks or something like that. Physical paperwork is reduced. So RTGS, if you want to do, normally businessmen and even the common people want to transfer their money from one place to other, they are using. Here the limit is 2 lakhs or more if you want to send RTGS to be done. And for doing RTGS, you have to have IFSC code of both the bank. Sender bank also and receiver bank also. Because this is done e-transfer. So RTGS to be done with the help of IFSC code. It's an 11 digit code given to the bank by as an identification of the bank. It is a bank identification code. Next is National Electronic Fund Trans Method, that is NEFT, Fund Transfer Method. Here also you need IFSC code, there is no limit of minimum amount. Less than 2 lakh if you want to send what you will do, you have to give it, no. So for that you have to get the benefit of NEFT system. Here that maximum 2 lakhs. 
2 and more are TGS. Minimum less than 2 lakh, you are going to do that NEFT. In a one hour, on the hourly basis, in the batches, they send money, transfer money. So on the hourly basis, your money will go. Either your amount will be given on the same day, credited to that opposite party or max to max in 48 hours. So by that time, for sure money will go. The next service provided by bank is bank overdraft. This service is mainly given to those businessmen having a credit. They are the regular customer of bank and they maintain a good relationship with the bank. So based on your credit, bank will assign a particular limit and to that limit over and above your balance you can withdraw amount and whatever amount you have withdrawn and for whatever period you have withdrawn on that the rate of interest will be charged by the bank. This facility given to the current account holder it means to the businessman only. Cash credit one more system is there developed by the bank. Cash credit, here credit is given against the stock. That is, the stock of the business will be under hypothecation with the bank. Here, bank will take possess the charge over stock. If the non-payment of the loan may be there, bank can recover money from this stock value. Interest, that is what depends on how much is the cash credit limit and for what duration you are using the facility. So normally to the big industry, the loans are given not as a bank overdraft form but in the form of a cash credit limit. So limit is sanctioned that till 1 crore you can write the checks. When you write and how much you write, accordingly interest will be charged. The next is that is what the loan. Loan are of two types, personal loan, you and I also when we are in need of a loan for money, where we will go? We go to bank. Bank hume paisa deti hai. Kis kis cheez ke liye deki? Hamare ghar mein shadi hai to chahiye, car leni hai to chahiye, vehicle lena hai to hume loan chahiye, building construct karna hai to loan chahiye, kuch improvement karna hai, renovation karna hai ghar mein to hume loan chahiye. So personal requirement में जब हम loan चाहिए तो हम bank के पास जाएंगे और at a rate of interest bank give you loan. Bank check करेगी कि आपकी repayment capacity है या नहीं. आपके तीन month की salary slip मांगेगी या आपकी income source of income मांगेंगे और उसके हिसाब से देंगे. Bank also give a loan business loan. अभी businessman को भी loan चाहिए. Business expand करना है, business में modification करना है, business को renovate करना है, business को diversify करना है, कितनी सारी चीजें हैं तो businessman को भी loan चाहिए, तो वो भी bank जाएगा loan लेगा. Here the character are normally you are paying higher rate of interest. Savings account को जो rate of interest bank देती है, obviously loan लेने वालों को उसे ज़्यादा interest rate पे loan देंगी. और उसी के डिफरेंस को तो बैंक की इनकम करी जाती है, so higher rate of interest you have to pay. It may be for the short term, it may be for the long term. अगर एक साल के अंदर अंदर की लोन आपकी लेन देन है, that is called short term. More than twelve month, it is going to be a long term. पांच साल, दस साल, पंद्रह साल, बीस साल, that is long term. Payment at the time of installment, you can do payment at a one time also. And in the installment also. Abhi 12 mahine ke liye loan li hai. To 12 mahine khatam hoon ke whatever the total amount of loan tha. Woh aap repay kar doge. To one time payment ho gya. Aur aap ne karodo mein loan li hai. To aap one time mein nahi karoge. Aap uska installment karwa doge. Bhai mujhe 10, 1 tenth part. For every year I will pay. तो 10 साल में वन टेंथ वन टेंथ कर करा के मैं मेरा रिपेमेंट करूंगा तो उसे इंस्टॉलमेंट बोलेंगे मॉर्गेज फैसिलिटी फॉर द हायर वैल्यू ऑफ लोन अगर आपकी लोन की वैल्यू बहुत ज्यादा है करोड़ों में आप लोन ले रहे हो तो आपको कुछ ना कुछ तो मॉर्गेज करना पड़ेगा आपका प्लांट है या मशीनरी है आपका लैंड है या बिल्डिंग है कोई भी उसी वैल्यू की कोई बड़ी एसेट आपको मॉर्गेज करनी पड़ेगी 
इस हिसाब से बैंक हमें बहुत सारी फैसिलिटीज देती है और बैंक हमारे काम करती है थैंक यू